As built for AutoCAD Tutorial Oriented Images Part 2 of 3 Import After this tutorial, you will be able to import oriented photos from an Agisoft PhotoScan project, use image management to create viewports, and derive 3D geometry from oriented photos. Notice Please watch As Built for AutoCAD Tutorial Oriented Images Part 1 first. For a detailed description of every command, please refer to the user manual. For demonstration purposes, we will speed the video up in certain areas. If significant changes are made, we will review them and resume the video speed. Start with an empty drawing. Ensure that you have several layers created, thus avoiding creating geometry on the layer zero. Make the photos layer the current layer for the images we want to import. In part one of the Oriented Images tutorial, you learned how to manually orient photos. You may have noticed that this can be a monotonous and time-consuming process. There are other possibilities to orient a large number of images in a faster way, such as using structure for motion photogrammetic software like Agisoft PhotoScan or Autodesk Recap Photo. With AsBuilt, you can import oriented photos from an Agisoft PhotoScan project or a Recap Photo. Start by selecting the AsBuilt Photo tab. Click Load and Import PhotoScan Project. Browse to the data that you downloaded and select the old underscore factory underscore building underscore agisoft.xml file. Click Open. Select all the images, Control A, and click Open. In this dialog, you can create an offset if your project has large geodetic coordinates. This is not the case for our data set, so we can leave the settings as is. Enter a subdirectory name for the converted oriented images. Click OK. Typically, it takes a few seconds for the images to import. AsBuilt is converting the oriented photos from the Agisoft format to the AsBuilt format. On this dialog, it states how many images were imported. Click Yes to open the Image Management sidebar. Notice that the images are loading there. It takes a few seconds to create and show the thumbnails in the list. You can scroll through them. If for some reason you did not confirm with Yes or if you did not see the Image Management, you can always go to As Built Photo, Image Management, and it will open it on the left side. You can also use your imported PhotoScan project in another drawing without having to import again. Simply open a new drawing, select Settings, click the ellipse, and search for the project subdirectory folder. Switch back to the Oriented Images tab and you will see all the images. Now we can use all these oriented photos to derive 3D geometry. The photos are referenced to the drawing but not yet loaded. First, we have to create viewports. Click the right chevron. This opens the viewports dialog. Depending on the number of images you want to use for your 3D geometry creation, you can have the two vertical or three vertical viewports. With the three viewports, you can have two for the oriented images and one to view the 3D geometry. We recommend using at least two viewports as a minimum. Now we will show you an example with the three vertical viewpoints. Click OK. Scroll down the list to photo DCS underscore 0035. Select the left viewport and double click the image to load it to this viewport. This also enables the camera navigation mode for this photo. Scrolling the mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out. Pressing it down will pan the view. Enable the center viewport. Select an image taken from a different angle, e.g. DCS underscore 0025, and double-click the image to load it to the center viewport. This also enables the camera navigation. Select the Settings tab and view the options. Here, we can set the thresholds, like the maximum allowed distance of the image rays, minimum angle of the image rays, more details will be provided later. The option when swapping unload the image previously shown in the viewport is very useful when working with large photo projects. 
Enable this option to not load too many images at the same time to your drawing. The previous image will be detached. As we are only working with two images, select Image Evaluation with two images. It makes the evaluation a faster process. Go back to Oriented Images. This drawing illustrates how photogrammetry with multiple images is working. We see a top view of the two oriented photos simulated as triangles and the objects that have been photographed, pink, green, and blue. The lowest tips of the triangles are the centers of projection. If you pick the same point in two oriented images, it is possible to calculate the intersection of both image rays to get the 3D coordinate for that particular object point. Let's derive 3D geometry from these two oriented photos. Start by switching the photos layer to layer 2. This more easily helps us see the geometry we've derived. Go back to As Built Photo tab and the Image Modeling area. Select the 3D Line command. The command line states that we need to specify the first point for the line. Navigate to this window frame and pick the first point as shown here. On the second image, notice the yellow line, called epipolar line, which helps you find the corresponding point in this image. The corresponding point will always lay on this line. Let's see some details regarding the epipolar line. The light blue frames represent the two photographs. The O is the projection center for both images. The red point in the left image, labeled with BL, is the first point we clicked. Having the first point left image, you can draw an image ray from the center of projection through that point and extend it into space, then project it into the second image which creates an epipolar line, a red line. This line helps you find the corresponding point in the second image, labeled with BR, to create P, the true object point. It always lies on the epipolar line. This fact is especially useful when you want to digitize linear or curved objects that have no exact distinguishable single points. Now that we have a better understanding, we click the first point of the line in the second image. It is defined in 3D space. We now define the second point for the outline of the window frame in the same way. Click the point in one image, and then the same point in the second image in the corner of the window frame on top of the epipolar line. Press Escape and enable the geometry window on the right. Double-click to zoom into the line. To see the geometry on top of one of the two images, enable the center viewport and switch its property from small to large. This will make the geometry visible. Enable the line weight option to have a better view of the line. Note. This works only if the layer you are drawing on has a line weight of 0.3 or larger. Now, you can continue to derive 3D geometry for the whole building. Another command you can use is the 3D circular arc. Zoom into the image, pick the point, and the epipolar line will appear in the other image. On the other image, zoom in and click the point on top of the epipolar line. Continue this process between the images. At the bottom of Image Management, we can see the average distance, maximum distance, and the maximum angle between the image rays. These values inform about the accuracy of your derived point. Select the final point and you will have the 3D circular arc. Another neat command you can use is the 3D spline. Zoom into the image, pick the point, and the epipolar line will appear in the other image. On the other image, zoom in and click the point on top of the epipolar line. In this situation, the epipolar line is very useful since you are able to see the line clearly and provides a better orientation within the image. We find the corresponding point where it intersects with the curved edge. Continue this process between the images. Press Escape or Enter to confirm the Cancel option and finish the process. Click and navigate in the Geometry window to see the geometry that was created. In this tutorial, you learned how to import oriented photos from an Agisoft PhotoScan project, use image management to create viewports, and derive 3D geometry from oriented photos. 
Please watch As Built for AutoCAD Tutorial Oriented Images Part 3 next. For a detailed description of every command, please refer to the user manual.